Hi, my name is Kelly. Thank you for joining me on this little experiment of mine. I want to see how the AI art generators interpret our favorite books and the images using the words from the book in much the same way that we form the image in our heads as we read the book. The only rule that I have is that I must use the first image that AI presents to me. I cannot alter it in any way, shape, or form or attempt a second try. This can lead to some pretty wild images, which we're about to see in today's video. I know someone asked me to cover Greek mythology, but for the life of me, I can't find who it was. It might have been my wife, or maybe a friend in conversation. If not, and it was you, I apologize for not remembering. Don't get old. <laughs> but I thought it was a great idea, whoever mentioned it. I remember Clash of Titans being a fun movie to watch when I was a kid. Would AI be able to render the images of these myths in the same way? For this video, I asked ChatGPT to list 20 of the most known examples of Greek mythology in a visual prompt format. I then copy and paste each prompt into the text to AI art generator known as Leonardo. Leo renders the image in about 8 to 10 seconds, and the following images are the results. Zeus, a regal figure cloaked in lightning, sitting atop a throne on Mount Olympus. Poseidon a trident-wielding god emerging from the depths of a tempestuous sea. Hera, a majestic queen with a peacock by her side. Hades, a somber figure clad in dark robes, ruling over the shadowy realm of the underworld. Athena, a wise goddess in gleaming armor, holding a shield and spear. Apollo, a radiant archer and musician surrounded by golden light and laurel wreaths. Artemis, a huntress with a bow and arrow accompanied by a pack of loyal wild animals. Aphrodite, a ethereal beauty emerging from a seashell with a captivating presence that stirs passion. Hermes, a swift messenger wearing winged sandals and a traveler's hat. Ares, a fearsome warrior brandishing a sword and shield. Hephaestus, a skilled blacksmith with a hammer and anvil. Demeter, a serene goddess surrounded by bountiful harvests. Dionysus, a jovial figure crowned with vine leaves holding a goblet of wine. Persephone, a youthful queen, split between the vibrant world of the living and the shadowy realm of the dead. Heraclitus, a weeping philosopher, pondering the transient nature of existence and the unity of opposites. Theseus, a heroic figure, wielding a sword and carrying the trophy of slain monsters. Medusa, a terrifying gorgon, with snakes for hair and a petrifying gaze. Pandora, a curious woman holding an ornate box representing the unleashing of all human evils. Odysseus, a seasoned traveler standing tall with a bow in hand exemplifying cunning and resilience. Sisyphus, a tormented figure endlessly pushing a boulder up a hill. Greek mythology is so cool, other than the fact that all of their names sound like an STD. I mean, I can hear a friend at work calling in sick one day. Hey boss, I went to the doctor yesterday and they ran some tests. He says I had a bad case of Heraclitus. Gave me a shot and told me to get some rest for a few days. <laughs> Anyways, fantastic images. Thanks to whomever imprinted the idea in my head to run with it. And thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that together we can watch AI get better and better as time goes on. The suggestion box is running low, so let me know what your favorite book or story is. Remember, the more books that you all suggest, the more baselines we have to compare against in the coming months as AI becomes more capable. Then I can repeat the test with the same prompts and show the side-by-side -side comparisons. We'll see you next time. Take care.